need your rechargeable fan candle gun trimmings feathers your piece of carton stones so here i'm um sketching on the carton i cut out a piece of carton i'm sketching on it for to give me the shape of fan that i want to achieve and here i'm cutting it trying to cut out what i sketched still cutting so it can give me what i want so i'm sketching the fan on it and cutting so after cutting it i'm placing the fan inside the space i cut just to see that it fits and yes it sits very well inside it so next thing i'm going to do is to wrap my fan i'm using a silver paper to wrap it first because the fan is pink and my accessory has um, is transparent you know so after wrapping with that i'll then use the the trimmings to wrap it so first covering the paper i'm done covering the base as well with the silver paper then i'm using my silver trimmings to now cover if my fan was not pink I, i'll just use my trimmings to cover directly i don't need to cover first so almost done here covering the base too as well with the trimmings and yes i am done so it does not affect the button the fan can still come on and the charging uh, hole is still open so yes now i want to cover the face of the fan do i call it the face <laughs> so i want to cover the face of the fan i'm going to cut the trimmings into pieces and cover each line I'm going to carefully and patiently cover each line You really have to be patient to do this so i'm still covering almost done so i'm doing the same thing on both sides and yes it's ready you can see how beautiful it is so now i'm going to place the fan inside my piece of carton And I'm going to use candle to hold it in so it can stick to it and only candle can only my candle wax can do that so applying them um, adding more candle wax so it can stick to the carton I'm done now and it's fine it sits well so now I'm going to start adding my feathers layer by layer i'm going to place my feathers on the carton so now let's call instead of calling it carton let's now call it skeleton since our full skeleton is ready so i'm going to place my feathers on the fan skeleton line by line till it's full line by line layer by layer to this form doing the same thing on the other side as well so i'm just going to turn to the other side as well and do the same thing there doing the same thing on the second side of the fan ah, so I'm almost done now
yeah so i'm done gluing the feathers on my skeleton i did the same thing on both sides and yeah my fan is almost ready so next now i'm using this silver trimmings round that circular area where the fan um, where, where the fan meets the feathers i want to use this um, silver trimmings to cover that area remember i'm doing the same thing on both sides applying more glue just to secure it well and now I'm still going ahead to use more trimmings to beautify my fan to further beautify my fan so I'm still going to um, glue this around that area One thing about trimmings is that they are never too much on your fan. They are never too much. They add more beauty to your fan. So I'm just going to place this around it. So remember, same thing on each side of the fan. So I still want to um, add more around that area, cut it into little pieces and add more. I'm doing the same thing on both sides of the fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So beautiful. I'm almost done. So I want to add um, more stones to beautify it. I'm adding stones in between the trimmings. Doing the same thing on both sides of the fan. I'm covering the um, center of the rechargeable fan itself. I pieces the um, trimmings. Adding glue and covering it neatly. Remember, I'm doing the same thing on both sides. So I'm almost done. Next step, I want to trim the feathers just slightly around just to give it a defined shape. just around the edges slightly yeah my fan is ready dusting off the flyaways securing the feathers cut out so if you notice I did not cover the charging point I can still charge my fan charging point is still intact it's open I can also press the start button so it's just perfect so this is how to make your rechargeable feather fan thank you for watching